Hi, hi! Welcome back to my channel. It has been a really long time. I think it's been like five months since I've uploaded a video. We have some changes. I went through a midlife crisis, which is basically a daily crisis for me these days. But yes, hello. Hi, I'm back. I thought it was about time for me to crawl out of my cave and pop on here real quick and say what's up. With everything that's going on in the world right now, I am sinking into this pit of anxiety and I just need to get out of it. While everybody is out buying 30 years worth of toilet paper, your girl bought a straightener. <laughs> when I saw this, I could not help myself. I am the biggest sucker for Dyson tools. I love the blow dryer. I love my Dyson vacuum. I have learned to love my Dyson Airwrap, which my last video on the Dyson Airwrap, I didn't really have great things to say about it, but I've learned how to use it for my hair and I love it. So when I saw this pop up, I was like, I need this, I need to try it. Now before anybody comes for me in the comments, here's a screenshot of my receipt. This is how much I paid. I paid over $700 for this straightener and I did pay for it with my very own money. This is not sponsored. Dyson did not send it to me. Although it would be lovely if they send me things. I won't be mad at it. <laughs> but I am a consumer just like all of you. I'm a sucker for new products. I'm a sucker for new technology and just newness all the time. So when I saw this, I had to buy it and I'm really excited to try it. Just a little info on this flat iron before we get into using it and I give you my thoughts on how it works and my first impression. Basically, this is how it charges. I actually took it out of the box so that I could charge it. You can use it wirelessly like this or this cord right here is actually magnetic so you can remove that. You can take it and pop it onto there. So now you can use it as your standard flat iron. This basically says right on the box that this is the only straightener with flexing plates that shape to gather your hair. It also says with 90% battery charge in just 40 minutes. What does that mean? I guess that means it'll charge up to 90% in 40 minutes and then 100% will take a little bit longer, but 40 minutes is not that long at all. So the thing that really got me was the fact that it has auto shut off after 10 minutes, which is perfect for people like me who are so forgetful and just don't remember if we unplugged our iron, even though we did unplug it and we checked that we unplugged it, but then we psych ourselves out when we leave the house and don't remember if we unplugged it, even though we did. So love that. I'm really excited to use this. Let's just get straight into it. I do want to put out there, I don't have curly hair. And I am not the person, I actually got a haircut. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I cut off like a foot of hair. So now it's like two and a half feet long. <laughs> but um, I don't have curly hair, obviously. My hair has no wave pattern to it whatsoever. I used to have one. I don't know what happened to it. Now it just looks like this when it air dries. It is coarse and it does take longer for me to flat iron it. So when I use my GHD Platinum, when I'm working on a strand like this, like a one inch section, I have to go through the section at least three or four times in order to get it pinned straight. So Dyson is claiming that you only need to use one swipe to get it pinned straight and it provides less heat damage. So. Let's put that to the test. So there's no product in it right now. I'm just going to put a little bit of this shea butter cream that I made into the ends. To unlock it, you go boop, and it opens up like that. And then to turn it on, press this button right here. It starts at 165 Celsius and goes up to 210 Celsius, which is like 410 Fahrenheit. And now I'm just going to wait for it to heat up. While it's heating up, the power button is pulsating. So let's see how long it takes. Oh shit, that was so fast. When I go like this, you can see the plates moving, like the little, so I like that. That's really interesting. Let's try it. So I'm gonna grab a section that I normally would pop it in at the root. And we're just gonna go down. Oh, 
Holy? I am mind blown right now. That has never happened for me with a straightener before. Like that was just one swipe. Usually I would like have to work in the roots and it's hella shiny. Okay. Ah! I'm so excited. I'm so happy right now. You know what? I'm going to grab a bigger piece. So this is twice the size of the first piece to see how it works on this one. Popping it in and I'm going to give it one Swaparoo. That is pin straight. And that was a thick section. Wow. Okay, just to test, because I do like to curl with my flat iron. Let's see how it curls. Yes! Okay, it didn't hold all of my hair completely. Like, we did miss this strand. But this is amazing. The problem that I have a lot of the time with curling with a flat iron is that I feel like it kind of rips my hair. But this was so nice. Now let's straighten it. I'm so happy this is working so well right now. I'm sold. Well, I'm already sold because I already spent this money on it. But this is amazing. So I'm just gonna go get my flat iron that I normally use and I'm gonna use it on this section right here just so we can see the difference in how many passes it takes to make this completely straight because this literally just takes one pass. This is the flat iron that I normally use. It's the GHD Platinum. When you compare it to the Dyson, it's similar in size. I'd say the Dyson is like half a size bigger, but weight wise, the Dyson is twice as heavy. So she is thick, like she got some weight on her, but I like it because I feel like I have good control with it. The GHD is a little lighter. Now mind you, this wasn't cheap. I think this was like 300 something dollars. I'll put the price somewhere here. Um, I don't remember offhand how much I paid for it, but this is the one that I've been loving for a really long time. So let's see how long this one takes to turn on compared to the Dyson. So you press the button, the light here flashes while it's turning on. It's already much slower than the Dyson. Uh, I feel so bad because this used to be my favorite thing ever, but the Dyson just came and shit on it. Damn, hurry up. about time I just want to see same size section on this side if this will do it in one pass like the Dyson did so let's go pop it in so it did not hold all of my hair and it wasn't as seamless gliding it down like see I still have a little bit of that kink that my hair has in random spots. I'm sorry, my old friend, but I don't love you anymore. Just give it one more run through. Yo, it's for real, like you can see it. Like when you put your hair in it, you can see it kind of grabbing the hair, which is so weird because they're just flat plates. There's no like comb or anything on here. That is so cool. Let's be really adventurous and do this entire piece of hair. This is like four times the size. You shouldn't flat iron a section this humongous, but let's just see how the Dyson works on this. First of all, let's see if it can keep all the hair in there, which it is, which is so weird. Let's just see. If this straightens, I'm gonna be mind blown. Okay, did it fully do it? But it didn't do a bad job either. Hold on, let's move you out of the way. That's not bad considering that I took such a humongous piece. I'm so used to putting my flat iron temperature on 410 because that's the only way it works for me and even then I have to run through it like three or four times. I'm gonna lower the temperature and I wanna see if it can still do one pass because then that'll mean less heat damage for my hair. So lower heat setting and run it through and hopefully it works in one swipe and then that way I can use less heat on my hair. This is really cool. Like you can see the rods kind of like 
flexing. Let's go even lower in heat. Let's go down to 165. Let's see how this one goes. Please work so I can flat iron my hair more often and not look like a hermit most of the time. Even though I am a hermit most of the time. Let's we'll see. Is she going to do it? Is it going to do it? I freaking love this thing. I'm just gonna finish this side and then I will come back and share my collective thoughts with you guys. We are back, hair is straight, and I'm in love with this. It is so good. I was using it on battery the entire time and I lost two bars. If I wasn't talking, this would have taken me 20 minutes, whereas if I was flat ironing with this, it would have taken like 30 to 35 minutes. So I saved like 10, 15 minutes using the Dyson, which is amazing. But the biggest thing for me is I can use this on its lowest heat setting and it's still going to flat iron my hair beautifully. And I have never been able to do that before with any flat iron. I cannot stop touching my hair. I feel like my hair feels different too. Like but usually whenever I flat iron my hair, it just, it feels weak almost immediately. And it doesn't feel that way right now. Like it feels really, really nice. It feels healthy still. And I am in love with this machine. I don't really have anything bad to say about it besides the price. Like the price is really expensive. It's like rent. Um, for a month so there's that but if you are in the market for a really really good flat iron if you are somebody who flat irons your hair often if you are somebody who has the budget for in Canada at least a $700 flat iron I totally recommend it it is amazing I probably won't be using this anymore and I'm just gonna use the Dyson one the thing that I thought was really cool about the flat iron, these little ridges that it has, the flex pods, you can really see them at work when you're flat ironing your hair. Like when I use this, I feel like the hair is just kind of like in whatever position it's in, it's going to be in that position and it's going to iron in that position and you're going to have to do a couple run throughs. Where in this one, it's so weird because you can kind of see it as if it's grabbing your hair like a brush but it's not a brush they're flat plates and it's kind of molding your hair into the flat iron so that you can get that one pass through and get all of your hair straightened i really adore the fact that i was able to do such big sections of my hair and it would still get straight and i just have to touch up on certain areas to make it super pin straight but i have never been able to do that with this I also really like how big it is and the weight of it. I feel like I have more control with it and you don't really have to put so much tension on your hair to get it straight. Like it kind of just, you use the weight of the machine and kind of just gently glide it down your hair, which is a big plus point for me. I think that's all I have to say. If I think of anything else, I'll pop in as future me and let you guys know when I'm editing. But as far as everything goes, it's a big win. So that's about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give me a great big thumbs up. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Even though I am probably the worst YouTuber on the planet, I make a video like every five months and I pop out of my cave like, hey, it's me. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next one.